Hey guys, it's Ryan from Mama's Got a Budget. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. So yes, it's true. I'm here in the flesh. This video will get posted. I filmed a lot of videos that I just haven't posted for one reason or another. It has been a year to say the least. I think I've been gone for two years pretty much from this channel, but I am ready. I'm ready to get back into it. My budget has suffered, not for the whole two years that I have been gone, but I can definitely do better. And me doing better, I need accountability, okay? I need somebody watching me a little bit. Not micromanaging me, but I need to report to something or have something to fill in, to fill out, to track, to do that. And I've never done better with my money management than when I am filming YouTube videos. With that said, I wanted to knew I wanted to come back, but I didn't know where to start, okay? So I decided to start with those of you who are like me. For the chronic overthinker, who whose savings goals need to get back on track but you don't know where to start okay so i'm here to share what i have been doing for my savings this year and it's so far i'm very early in it but it has been working so what i'm talking about is the 100 envelope savings challenge if you know anything about me you know ideas have never been um, a problem for me. I'll have an idea at the drop of a hat in a dream on the toilet in the shower um, Driving down the expressway any anywhere good idea. My problem is execution Okay, because then when I start thinking about how to execute said idea I think about so many steps and I get so overwhelmed that I end up not doing anything and I'm here today to say that we need to stop it. Yes, I'm talking about you and you too, me and the camera. So if you guys want to see what I have been doing to get my savings back on track and how I have set up my 100 envelope savings challenge with no envelopes and very, very little prep, then go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so before we jump into it, let's start at the beginning. What is the 100 envelope savings challenge? Did I say that that's what I was doing? I can't remember because, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing, all right? I'm doing the 100 envelope savings challenge. Now, what is that, you may ask? It's where you either randomly pick a number one through 100 or you purposely pick a number one through 100, a different number every time, of course, um, to save, okay? So you can either close your eyes and you pick an envelope, you number an envelope one through 100. If you draw, okay, it says 56. That's the amount of money that you have to put in or whatever currency you have. So I would put $56 into that envelope. Then you close it up and you store it somewhere. You put it away. You don't think about it until the next time you're going to draw, you do the same thing. You repeat those steps until you make it through all 100 envelopes. And then at the end of it, if you do the math, you will have saved $5,050. So that's the one that I have decided to start with. What have I been using? Because 100 envelopes, that's a lot of damn envelopes, okay? So not only do you have to make or purchase the envelopes and, you know, purchase the material if you're going to make the envelopes, but you also need somewhere to store it after. That was my whole thing. Well, those two things were my thing. Like, do I make them? I don't feel like it. Do I buy them? Which ones do I buy? Or do I just take some from the bank? Will they give me that many? Oh, I'll just use 100 number 10 envelopes. Oh, that's so plain. I'm not going to have fun with that. Okay, let's say one of the cheaper options, the number 10 envelopes. Then you have to find somewhere to store them. It's a whole thing that goes on in my brain. I'm sitting here thinking it. Like at the end of 2023 and time is winding down. I'm like, how can I do it? How can I do it? Then I thought of this. And it took me this long to actually start doing it. I've had this set up for a while. I just didn't feel right doing the challenge without having my other budget like my full budget in place you know what I mean what materials do you need for this challenge throw away the idea that you need 100 envelopes because you don't the goal here is not the aesthetics I want to say that the goal here is not the aesthetics and the method it's reaching the goal and your progress in reaching that goal so no matter what you want to use remember at the end of the day the goal is to save money okay i knew i didn't feel like making it i knew i didn't feel like making them um I and i was running out of time to do so even because it was the end of the year and i wanted to start on january 1st 
spoiler alert, still didn't. Even bigger, I'm here to tell you that it's not too late to start. So I went on Amazon and I got the safe, right? Storage problem is solved. I got the safe, I got it in white. I also have a pink one um, that I have on <laughs> for miscellaneous things. So I knew that I liked the safe. I knew the size that I wanted. I knew it was big enough to do what I need to do, okay? Then, here's the star of the show, binder clips, okay? Hear me out. I know that there's a lot of girlies on here that do, like, clips, like the clip savings instead of physical envelopes where they have, like, dividers and they'll clip money together in their wallet. Thinking of different methods, taking things from every which way, and this is what I came up with, mini binder clips, okay? Then, I used my skills and resourcefulness and being cheap. I had some sticker paper, some clear sticker paper. I still have my silhouette, still have the software, everything like that. I tossed it in the software, numbers one through 100. After I measured the binder clips, I made little rectangles cut to the size of the binder clips. I forgot what they are, though. Um, I can look them up and I'll put everything that I use down below. Like you guys can 100% do this yourselves. <laughs> Okay, so I measured it, put on clear sticker paper, and stuck the sticker on with a pair of tweezers. Bam. Tossed it into... Refocus. Tossed it into this old candy dish that I have. Threw out the candy. So it's time to stop eating candy, time to start saving. All 100 of the binder clips fit perfectly into this. This I've had for about two and a half years um, from the Walmart dollar spot. Okay. So cute. I got everything. I want it to be aesthetic, so it's like white on white on white on pink. And that's all you need. It works, it works, it works. Okay? The process. Step two. What do you do? Okay? When you are ready to start or... Let me say. I'll tell you what I'm doing. When I'm ready to save, I sit down with my materials, right? With my candy dish. I close my eyes. I go through and I pick out a clip. Okay? Last time I did it, I did two I did two clips. But pick out a clip, it's number 75. I go to the bank, I write down my denominations, how do I need it? I need a 50, I need a 20, and I need a five. Please, thank you. Come back home, clip it together, and you throw it in the safe. There is no filing of envelopes. There is no like color matching or gradient or anything that you need to do anything that was going on in my head i'm not even blaming y'all anything that's going on in my head i didn't need to do because i have it here now let's say the last time i drew an 85 okay here's my clip with the did i say 58 i went to the bank came home she didn't give it to me how i asked number one which is good because if the more I was also thinking like the more individual bills that you have in there, like the bigger the envelope can get. And I was going to have to make them for the, um, the storage that I was seeing. I would have to make the envelopes tiny. Like I would have to fold the money up. And I'm like, well, that's just going to make it even thicker. And I'm going to have, I'm going to run out of storage space faster than I can fill up a whole, all 100 envelopes. Like you can get something to fit 100 empty envelopes just fine but 100 stuffed envelopes with different amounts of bills in there was was what i was thinking of i was thinking for the future okay here's 50 20 10 and then five singles 50 60 70 80 yeah okay then i get it i just fold it up all right i put the money on the fat side don't know why but i put the money on the fat side clip it with the corresponding clip and then I chuck it in the bank, okay? There is no storage. There is no filing. You don't have to, to go through all that, okay? I just need someplace that I can throw it, okay? Someplace safe. Lock it. This safe. You set your own three-digit code on. Super easy to do. Do that. And this is the medium one I want to say, but you can probably get away with the small one. I ordered this one because I knew what how big it was. Like I said, I have the pink one. I'll have, again, the links down below. Then you chuck it in the bin, and then you forget about it. You set it and forget it. So it's cute while you're doing it. It's functional as you're doing it. And it's easy to store when you're not doing it, when you're done with it. Okay, so what clips have I pulled? Um, when I first started this challenge, start with start where you are. 
when I first started this challenge, I had five singles in my wallet after I made all the clips. So I purposely, this wasn't a random draw. I took out the one and put, clipped it and I took out the four and I clipped it. So I started with $5. I started with this and then, oh, it's on my desk. I just chuck it in the safe. And like I said, I have my um, 85 clip here and I also pulled a 30. Like I said, last time I did it, I did two. So I have my, I'm not gonna unclip this one, but I have my $30 here. You throw it and you forget it. So it's cute while you're doing it, but as you, you know, do you see what I'm doing? You, do you like? Okay, I, I kinda ate with this one little thing. I'm not gonna lie, that's why I'm so excited to show y'all. That's, that's it, that's all you need. There's no envelopes to make. Reusable, okay, next year, however long it takes you to do this, you don't have to worry about ripping envelopes or having too many denominations. Like I said, I asked the teller chick for a $5 bill. She gave me five singles. Now, maybe she, she probably didn't have a $5 bill, but that would have made my envelope that much bulkier, and it would have been kind of like stretching and all this stuff, and don't have to worry about this. Get the mini binder clips. Um, they had them in different colors. I think they even had orange, and I passed up on that just for the aesthetics, and y'all know I love orange. I love orange okay so those are the materials that's my process that's what the 100 envelope challenge is and how am i tracking this you ask y'all know me the og followers know i love a good spreadsheet so i'm going to screen share how i have been tracking my 100 envelope savings challenge okay so this is how i'm tracking it it tells me in one screen everything i need to know that you could definitely put on paper but it's more visually appealing to put it on a spreadsheet to me and it makes you do and it does all the work for you like no one can ever make me hate excel you may see those commercials like if you're still tracking your budget this way then that's outdated you need rocket money you need this this and this to help um it may be easier but it's still the same thing the goal here again is to save money all right and you guys know a budget savings challenges savings goals anything that you want to do financially that you're tracking is a living breathing document anyway you're going to have to feed what you want to grow so you're putting this information in anyway so just have it look the way that you want it to look have it do what you want it to do and that's exactly what i did here so it's super simple let me know if you guys want a tutorial i can do that for you but if not like i said you guys can 100 percent figure this out <clears throat> Okay, so what did I do? I started on the left, bam, made a chart one through 100. Super simple, tossed a title on it. Then down here I have dates where I'm just like tentatively gonna pull it next month because I just noticed that there was a lot of pay dates. And I want, I need something down here, down at the bottom. I haven't figured out what it is, but I just wanna make it even. Okay, I wanna make it even. I don't know what to put down there. Then on the right, I have everything I need to know in a snapshot, okay? How much have I saved, number one, Number two, what's my progress? How close am I to the end of my goal? Which is number three, the, the challenge goal is $5,050. If you add up, like I said, one plus two plus three plus all the way to 100, you'll get 5,050. That's the goal. How much do I have left to go in dollars? Like I have the percentage up here, but in dollars, how much do I have to go down here? Um, and then I added this recently. How many clips have I pulled? four and how many do I have remaining 96 now I'm gonna fill this back in so you guys can see just how I have it working for me here so as if I didn't pull these clips I'm gonna put back in the one for the 30 and the 85 okay so everything resets to zero like you see total save zero progress zero hundred clips remaining all that all right so I go in da -da -da, pull my random clip go to the bank clip it put it in the bin then I go back and say, oh, what have I, what did I pull today? The number one, I delete it. As soon as I delete it, it, it knows that I deleted it over on the left. So over on the right, it takes that number and puts it in my total save. It updates my progress. Um, the only thing that doesn't change is what's in green, which is the goal. Obviously, the goal remains the same. Uh, we're not moving any targets here. Um, but all, the other five values on the right change. So then once I pull it, it also highlights it. It like outlines it over here for me just so I know which ones I've done like at a glance. Um, and I pulled the four, 
So delete that, that changes it to five. And then the 30, changes it to 35 over here. Um, 97 clips pulled, so that's like one, two, three, highlighted areas. Um, remaining is 5,015. And then I pulled the 85, which brought my progress up to 2.38% which is a big jump so you'll your future self will thank you and i need something that's like instant also gratification like oh my god that's such a big number but i pulled that big number but look how much closer to the goal i'm getting look how much progress i am making type shit <laughs> so that's the that's my tracking my digital 100 envelope challenge that doesn't use any envelopes how I'm tracking everything so I hope that makes sense and like I said I'm super excited to show you guys so I hope that you like it I hope I'm not the only nerdy budgeter who likes stuff like this but um I pat myself on the back for thinking of this and I plan to show you guys in real time going forward like my live clip like I only do it once like I pulled the 85 I was like Oof, okay then I had to go back in again I was like okay 30 all right but like imagine if I pulled like 99 and 100 I would just I would just fold it I would just hang it up I'm just like I'm not spending any money but that's what I need I don't think like mm, how much do I want to save this week no sometimes I just need to be told what to do tell me what to save and just have me set it and forget it keep up with your clips I think that's the only like hard part about it um, Microsoft 365 is what I use, like I said, I think I said, um, and that's available anywhere, like any computer that you log on to, it'll be there, you just log into your Microsoft account, much like Google Sheets, they have an app, much like Google Sheets, it's just all around, like, super convenient, and I, it took me, like, an hour and a half, it took me more time to get to the bank, actually, where I'm just like, Oh, I gotta go to the bank. Oh, I gotta save it. It took me more time procrastinating than it did for me to set any of this up. So like I said, let me know if you guys want um, a dedicated tutorial on how to set up the, the tracking spreadsheets that I have. I'll link the materials that I use in the description down below if you guys want to purchase them. But if you guys find like markers, like tiny Sharpies that won't rub off, something like that, that'll work. I'm trying to think of other ideas that you guys can use besides stickers. If you guys don't even want to number the clips, that's an idea. You don't even have to number the clips because technically your numbers are on your spreadsheet. How about this? Another alternative to the stickers go on a website like a random counter they have those um where you can set your parameters so set your parameters one through 100 and have ai pick a number one through 100 and then you go to your spreadsheet to see if you have done that number yet so you don't have to type on type in oh exclude one for 85 and 30 because as you start to get up there there'll be a lot of numbers to put in so if you have not done that number yet based on your chart go to the bank and grab that they won't be labeled in here but you can also just open it up and count it but you're not counting anything because you're not spending it so don't even worry about it just just trust yourself when you come home from before you pull off from the bank and you count your money just know that it's going to be there just know that it's there and nothing changed it's like you keep on opening up the refrigerator knowing you ain't been grocery shopping. Ain't nothing changed, girl. Me. It's happened to me. So if you guys can think of any more savings challenges, let's come up with a way as a community to do it the cheapest and cutest way possible. That's going to be our goal on this channel. So everyone in the comments will be like, dang, Mama's Got a Budget Channel got all the gems. Like, yes, yes, we do. The community is still here. I have lost some subscribers, but thank y'all for rocking with me for everybody who is still here to this day. I cannot thank y'all enough. I haven't been making any videos. I haven't been making any money off of any videos. So this is me like starting over basically starting fresh because if you're inactive for six months like you have to start the whole process over anyway so to get monetized so it's just like okay it is what it is at this point let me just share what i love and what i know thank you guys so much for sticking around let me know if you want a tutorial on the spreadsheet let me know what challenges you're doing this year and remember it's not too late to start it's never too late to start so i'll talk to you guys in my next video